All right, guys, today I'm going to be looking at sexy Amazon product research. I know it sounds a bit stupid, but bear with me. I'm going to explain to you what I mean. I'm going to show you some examples. And then by the end of the video, I think you're going to be looking at product research in a little bit of a different way. And you're going to find more opportunities. So stick around, watch to the end, like and subscribe if you already haven't. Um, and let's get into it. So what do I mean by sexy product research? And what do I mean by making products sexy? So the example that I'm going to show you is in the dog supplement niche. And what I want to show you is a brand called Zesty Paws. Now, if we scroll through here and we have a look, right, this is kind of what kind of results we get when we're looking for dog supplements. And then all of a sudden you see this brand here, this big, sexy, bright orange brand called Zesty Paws. Now, some of you might have seen them. Um, they, they were quite famous this, this year or, or last year because we're in 2022 because they had a huge exit. So this was a, a private label Amazon brand. Um, I think it's seven or eight years old, but basically a, a, another company bought this brand and I think it was for like over $600 million. Yeah. So this is a, 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 an article in Forbes. So Zesty Paws was sold for $610 million. So this shows the size of the market for dog supplements and, and just for Amazon FBA private label brands in general. But um, if you want to take a look, yeah, it's a Forbes article. So if you do, if you just Google uh, Zesty Paws and Forbes, you can have a read for yourself. But what I want to come back to is this whole idea of making products sexy, right? And doing product research. Like a lot of people complain and say that it's very difficult to find products. Um, they don't really know what they're looking for. And is Amazon FBA dead? And I think it's a load of bollocks, really. And this is one strategy that we use to, to really help us. Um, we're using it with, with our own brand that we're, we're building to go on and sell. But this is basically the example. So it, historically, um, you know, dog supplements, they were a little bit boring. Like if you look at this, this is sort of how you would expect it to be, right? Like just a bit generic, a picture of a dog, black and white, like everything kind of looks the same. Nothing really sort of stands out. And then you've got Zesty Paws. They came in and they've got a great product. So all the products get great reviews. So the actual quality of the products is great. But if you take a look at what they've done. All right, guys, so I wanted to interrupt the video just for one second to give you some news. So Tom and I, for the past few months, we've been working on a course on how to do product research. And if you're watching this video, it's probably because you're interested in that. Basically, we've created what we think is the most in-depth course on how to find products to sell on Amazon. So if you're interested and you want to check it out, uh, we will be releasing it soon to a limited number of people. So there's a link in the description where you can get more information. But now let's get back to the video. They've kind of made um, a boring sort of product um, a little bit a little bit sort of sexier. Um, you can see straight away as soon as you go on their listings and as soon as you, you you go into um you know their products like it just looks great and the colors that they've used they've obviously put a lot of time and a lot of effort into the branding of this and what it means is is they just stand out so much like when you know when you search for dog supplements or anything related to dog cat supplements whatever it is they just jump off the page they 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 just look so much different than stuff like this like they all of these just look the same and they use the same generic images it's all very boring it's not very bright um you know this just looks like something off kind of like um you know when you see those like tv adverts where they just try and sell you this stuff like and then you can see these guys like i, I think that these are kind of new that you know they're, they're kind of trying to do something similar um but the point of this is, is when you're doing your product research, you want to be keeping stuff like this in mind. You want to be thinking, how can I stand out against everyone else? And it doesn't always have to be a different product. It, it, it can be your brand and your brand imagery and your brand design and the videos that you create and the way that you do your branding is so, so powerful. And I think Zesty Paws is just a great example of this. Um, so I want to show you another example of a brand that I think have done this amazingly well. And this is a brand called Chili's. So Chili's are a, a water bottle brand, or they were when they began. And if you think of water bottles, you know, you think of like a, a boring sort of standard white water bottle. And, and what Chili's did is they came in and they made water bottles sexy. So you can, if we go on, if we, if we go across to um, their bottles here, let's have a look. I remember the first time that I saw this brand and it was a girl at work and she had one of these, right? And it had all these like huge whales on it and like this crazy brand. And I remember she brought it in one day and she put it down on her desk. And I swear to God, 25 people that first day walked past and stopped, picked up the bottle and said, where did you get this? It's really cool. 
And it made me think at that time, I was like, that is so cool how they've done that. So what they did is they took a boring product like a water bottle, which historically would just be white or blue or whatever. And they just made it sexy so that when people use it, other people see it and they want to know where they got it from. Um, it's just an amazing way to differentiate. So, you know, five, six years ago before Chili's came around, people would have probably said that this niche was very saturated. Like, how do you stand out with water bottles when there's a million water bottles, you know, um, up for grabs and, and, and on the market? But Chili's came in and they just did something different. And if you look at how well done everything is, all of the branding, just look how beautiful it is, the design. Like, look, this is what I'm talking about. This was kind of what happened when, um, when I, you know, I was, I was in the office. I still remember to this day it being on the desk and people just, um, you know, coming by and, and asking, you know, what was this product? So Chili's is another great example. Um, and I want to show you a, an example on Amazon of where I think this could apply. So this is something that I've looked at before in the past, and it's these neck pillows, right? And for me, this is a good example of what we kind of call the sea of sameness. So when you look at all of this stuff, like it, it kind of all looks very similar. Um, they're all kind of the same shape. You know, you have some that are a little bit sort of different in terms of design, but most of them, you know, you have a couple of people that do stuff like this, but most of it is a little bit boring. Um, it kind of looks, looks the same. It doesn't really stand out too much. And when you actually click in and you click into some of the top ones, like this is one of the top ones with like 20,000 um, 20, reviews, obviously. But the branding is so boring. Um, it really just makes me want to go to sleep. Um, I don't get inspired by it. It's just incredibly boring. And uh, they're obviously doing very well. I'm not, I'm not disputing that. But my point is, if you want to stand out on Amazon, like look at this, just what stands out here? Okay, like if I'm not into pink, then I'm not going to click on these and then they all just kind of look the same, right? Oh, here we go. If I'm a, a Trump fan, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm into this. But um, so my point with this is use companies like Chili's, use companies like Zesty Paws, see how they've conquered these big, big niches, um, see how they've, you know, they've gone into these huge saturate, saturated niches and they've made boring products sexy. Um, and if you do that on Amazon, if you start to think in this way, when you're doing your product research, you're going to see way more opportunities. Um, niches perhaps that you've looked at in the past and you thought, you know, it's too saturated, I can't stand out, whatever it is, go back to those niches and can you put a spin on it like this? You, you have to be thinking in terms of a, a branding and, and all of this type of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a very quick one. I'm not doing any fancy editing. Um, as you can see, I'm using my webcam. I hope you enjoyed it and you got something out of it. If you did, please give us a like, please give us a, a subscribe. If there's any other video topics you'd like us to cover in, um, in, in, in future videos, then just let us know in the comments below and we will get down to them for you. So, Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next video.